Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley and today I'm going to walk you through my process creating a frame by frame hand-drawn animation using a really cool app that I love called Flip a Clip. Flip a Clip works on the iPad and it allows you to easily create traditional hand-drawn animations. In this video, we're just going to be creating a bouncing happy cupcake that just goes up and down. We're going to be needing an iPad, the app called Flip a Clip, which is free, and an Apple Pencil. But actually, you don't need the Apple Pencil. You can just draw with your finger and that will be fine. That's pretty much it. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open Flip a Clip. And here on Flip a Clip, you're going to see two rows. One where you have all of the animations that you have created and one with all the movies that you have exported, animated GIFs and MP4s and all that. Potentially, if this is the first time you have opened this, uh, this will be empty, but this is how it's going to look once you have stuff. So for example, uh, once you click on it, then you can see the animation that you have created and you can navigate to this. Uh, today, we're going to be creating a cupcake just like this. So uh, this is just a preview of what we're going to be creating. Uh, let's just start by creating our first project. We want to press on the plus button. Now I can uh, name my uh, animation. I'm going to call it Cupcake. And then I can also uh, change the color of it. I can just click here and I can change uh, the background. Uh, it gives you some paper uh, uh, defaults. I like to just uh, select a color. I'm going to select a white color color but you can use one of those defaults and then here you can also change the canvas size uh, it gives you some really good defaults too like on YouTube uh, TikTok Vimeo sizes just going to leave it on the default of YouTube 720 and also here on the frames per second here it shows you a preview of how your animation is going to look depending on the frames per second or FPS that you apply so uh, by default it, it is 12 frames per second. That means that for every second of your animation, you have to draw 12 uh, drawings. Uh, it is uh, 12 drawings will make one second. So if you move around, then you can preview, for example, if we move it to six, see how it's still one second that is taking the animation, but now it looks a little bit choppier. Uh, it looks a little bit more staggered. That's because it on, it's only having six uh, frames. If we want to make the animation even smoother, then you see how 24 frames per second makes a really smoother animation, but that means that also you have to draw 24 frames for one second. Uh, traditional animation actually just uses that, like 24 frames per second, but that's a lot of work. So I'm going to actually just turn it back to the default of 20 of 12 uh, frames per second. Just going to leave that, and I'm going to create my project. There you go. And here, let's take a look at the UI. Here on the left, we have our tools. We have our, uh, a pen, really basic pen. And here you can change the color of it. You can change the size of the pen by just dragging like this here. And also you can just change the color too by clicking. And then uh, you have an eraser, you have a lasso, lasso tool, so you can select and move around. Also a paint bucket and text if you want to add text. Uh, like here on the bottom, you have the different frames that you're going to be adding. Right now, there's nothing. We only have one frame, but if you want to add more, just press the plus button. And then here on the bottom right, you have layers. This is pretty useful if you want to add uh, a different fills. And then here we have a play button. If we want to preview our animation and then some basic tools on the top right. So uh, yeah, let's just start drawing our first cupcake. So I'm going to just start drawing. It's going to be a cupcake like this. Just like a top like that, potentially just a little body like this. It's going to be really simple just for this. Just a happy cupcake, potentially with chocolate chips on the top. Just a couple of chocolate chips, a couple of arms, and some legs, and that's it. Uh, now I'm going to use the lasso tool just to move my cupcake. I'm going to move it a little bit lower and in the center and that way I have enough space on the top so I can, uh, so this cupcake can jump. And now I have my first uh, frame. Now I want to add another one. I'm going to press the plus button. 
when I press the plus button, you're going to see that there's uh, the last cupcake. It looks like a ghost and, and it's like grayed out. That's because by default, it has an onion skin. That means that you can see the last frame uh, so you can trace on top of it. So this is the last frame and here I can trace on top of it. And that way I can just like create my animation a frame by frame animation. It's really cool that uh, Flip a Clip gives you this ability by default. So I can just start drawing is the same cupcake. So I just trace it again. I'm going to move the arms a little bit. See how the arms are a little bit different. And I'm going to select the lasso tool and I'm going to select it and then move it a little bit lower because it's uh, it's about to jump. So it's taking a little bit of force before it jumps. So I'm going to draw my legs like this. The position of the feet are the same. All it changes is how the legs are being flexed. So I'm going to add another frame and see how um, I still see two frames. And that's because I'm seeing the last one and then the next one. And, and what is the next one? Well, the next one is actually the first one. That's why I'm seeing two frames. So I can go to the onion uh, uh, skin options here on the options and I can go to edit and I can say, no, I do not want frames after. So I can just say no, and now I can only see one. And I turn this off, and now I'm only seeing the one before. So that's it. I'm going to draw it again, just, just like that. It, it, it's okay to make mistakes. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a little cupcake that is happy to be here. And we're just, sometimes, uh, when you uh, make something that is not perfect, actually it can be uh, what makes it better, you know? Uh, because it, it looks a little bit more human when it's not as perfect. And there you go. I'm going to select it just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, I'm moving it. And then doing the same, it's starting to flex even more the legs are flexing even more because it's about to jump really high. So I'm going to do another one and then now my cupcake, see how the the top of the cupcake, it's, it's, it's dripping a little bit because uh, it's kind of stretching. And there you go, just like that. Even the chocolate chips are kind of stretching and potentially even the body of it, it's a little bit being stretched out. And then also the eyes are being stretched. Make the, uh, the arms just like that and I'm going to move it. And then it's it's starting to move, it's starting to jump just around there. And then the legs are just like that. And then I'm going to add another one. See how my element is stretching because gravity is acting on top of it. Let's move it a little bit higher, almost all the way to the top. Let's add another frame. And then on this frame, uh, it's just like almost suspending in air. It slows down on the top. Let's do that. Just a little bit higher. And let's add another one and almost the same, but now gravity, like the rest of the cupcake, it's kind of like going the other direction. It's going up because it's trying to catch up to the rest of the body that jumped up. And now let's add another one. Now this one, I actually do want to see the other, the, the last one. So because it's going to be kind of in the middle. So I'm going to turn on one frame after, I'm going to put it back. And now I want to draw something in the middle. And so that way it's good to have those two there so you can have that perfect. And there you go, it's in the middle almost there and now let's do the last one and the last one i actually only want i don't want uh the frame before i only want the frame after this is only so it cushions i want another one where uh it just like reaches the bottom and it just like cushions before it's all the way down there And then you can preview your animation right here. So it's really good to actually just like see it, how it's happening. 
Look at that. <laughs> you can make a remix like this. So, so yeah, let's play it and see how it's looking. And there you go. It's a little bit choppy there at the end, but you can just uh, customize it and just like fix it as much as you want. Now, something that is really cool is you can add multiple layers. So something that I'm going to do is add one more layer, and this is just going to be some paint. And I'm going to actually turn off the onion skin. And on this layer, I'm just going to paint the, the, the top of it. So I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go to my pen. I'm going to change it to potentially just an orange. And then I'm going to make it make this a little bit bigger so I can just quickly paint it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to, to add a little bit of color. On each frame to just add a little bit of color. It's okay to go outside the lines. There's a philosophy. I don't know if it's a philosophy, but it's a there's a thinking in Japanese culture called wabi sabi. And that is like the appreciation of things that are not perfect. And we're almost done. Just like that. Let's preview it again. Ha! Look at that cupcake. That is so cool, right? Now, what we can do is, well, we want to export it. We want to put it out there. So we can go to the options and then go make movie. And then here, make movie, you can select what format you want. You can change the name, the format, and you can change, uh, sorry, the size, and you can change if you want it to be as an MP4, as a GIF, or a PNG sequence. I actually want it as a GIF. And then, uh, yeah, I can just make the movie. And then let's preview it. There you go. That's my cupcake. It's looking pretty good. Once uh, it's, a, it's a gift, you can just like save it and share it anywhere that accepts gifts. It's the, the beauty of using uh, uh, this kind of tool that makes it really easy to create hand-drawn animations. Look at that, that's so cool. So I would love to see what you create with this tool or if you have another tool that you use uh, for uh, uh, animations like this, please share in the comments. And I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much and bye-bye.